behalf of the CWP International, I would like to join the international community in celebrating the International Women's Day 2016. The theme for this year is Pledge for Parity. It has been long in coming. Many commitments have been made, pledges have been made, but I think it's time we made progress on delivering uh, this page for parity. We have made uh, slow progress uh, following a enactment of a number of international conventions, the International Convention on Political and Civil Rights, and the International Convention on Economic and Social Rights. However, there has been uh, a tendency to focus more on uh, political rights rather than the parity in economic rights. So I do hope that uh, as we begin 2016, we can reflect on all of those. We also want to remind the heads of state of the Commonwealth about the Harare Declaration made more than 20 years ago, in which they had uh, committed themselves to improve the advancement, empowerment, and visibility of the women folk uh, of the Commonwealth. Unfortunately, as I speak, within the Commonwealth, there are still countries where there are no women at all represented in the legislature. And we need to do more to ensure that uh, these countries do come up. So uh, I want to use this occasion to remind the members of the CWP in all the regions that the work has not been completed. We need to renew our energy in lobbying, in advocacy, but more importantly, to demand for accountability from our governments. Indeed, it would be good if at the end of uh, every year we demanded for and received accountability within the legislature about progress made on the advancement of women. We also demand that the country reports to the United Nations Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women should be tabled in Parliament, discussed before they are presented uh, to the CEDAW Committee. So we should continue demanding for accountability from our governments, but we also need more allies, male and female gender activists to help us in lobbying uh, for equity and the improvement of the lives of the women and men of the Commonwealth. I want to call upon the regions to ensure that the chapters are formed, you know, the parliaments launched and made active.